friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with anterior capsular fibrosis when we see such kind of capsular fibrosis we are very much worried about capsular excess by this time the main incision has been made and the side port has been made on the left side of the main incision three clock hours away an air bubble is injected and beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied all over the capsule there should not be any area unstained and now the dye is washed out and after washing the dye out the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now i am thinking how to do capsular excess i took a 26 gauze bent needle and made a cut here and then i raise a small capsular tag now i hold this capsular tag with utrita forceps go to periphery and here tears off but i could hold the band underneath and i could do the rexus fortunately the fibrous bands and fibrosis is in the central part of the capsule sometimes it is it goes to periphery and in those cases we it is it may be so firmly adherent to the capsule that the capsule cannot be peeled out in those cases we have to cut that area and we can do feco because though we cut in those areas those areas are not actually weak points you now see the rotation of the nucleus bimanual rotation clockwise as well as anti clockwise after careful hydro dissection this is a totally unedited recording real speed and you are not missing anything the exposed part of the feco needle is little more than in softer cataracts to get more ultrasonic energy the superficial cortical lens matter is removed now the hand piece is turned to make the bevel towards the corneal endothelium the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus at this time i am in high vacuum and high flow and high energy ultrasonic energy is 85% flow rate is 45 vacuum is 450 mm of mercury i got a nice crack rotated it 180 degree come to the other side and divide the two heminuclei completely then on heminucleus is chopped into two large fragments then i come to the other heminucleus again the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus stops at the junction of hard and soft part and the chopper is used to get the crack this chopper is known as mohantas chopper it's just a modified sinski hook and now emulsification is started at this time the setting is same flow rate 45 vacuum 450 and ultrasonic energy set at 85% two pieces 
removed that means own heminucleus has been managed and this is own piece of the other heminucleus always emulsification is carried out in the central 3.5 millimeter or 4 millimeter safe zone. And now this is the last piece at this time the vacuum and flow rate is reduced vacuum is 350 flow rate 35 and ultrasonic energy is 70 percent. At this time little slow and as I see that the antechamber is nicely maintained the posterior capsule is far behind I decide to emulsify the last piece with low parameters. Sometimes I use I will scaffold for a removal of the last piece. In this case it was not necessary. Now the anterior chamber is filled up partially with SPMC so that the anterior chamber remains formed while I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove the cortex. There is only one side port and I have to use either coaxial IA or this one and I prefer a Simco. It's, I think it is a gentle and safe instrument and it works very well in my hands. However, if it is a surgeon choice if you like that, if you feel that bimanual works best in your hands, go for bimanual. Coaxial works very well in your hands, go for coaxial. There is no hard and first rule. Whatever uh, the surgeon is comfortable with should go with that instrument. This is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens has gone into the capsular bag and now this is a bit of moxie and then the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it will not require any hydration. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.